Hi everyone, so I'm going to see what I can get with the cards today. This may or may not be your story. Um, if you're following my channel and you're resonating with my specific uh, Zodiac videos, it's, it's possible that that's your continued story, but this might not be. So, you know, just keep that in mind. I do these randomly. Some of these will be your story and some of them won't be. So just, you know, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know, if it's not resonating for you, it just means it's not your story. Um, maybe the next one will be. And just continue watching my uh, my monthly Zodiac videos. Okay. Just see what the cards have to say. Please be clear and direct. Two of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Reversed. Someone's getting out of poverty, and you're making a choice that's going to get you out of poverty, I feel. Or it could be like a period of um, like anxiety or feeling isolated, feeling like things aren't going in your favor. But you're getting yourself out of this energy. Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Sorry, let me adjust this here. So we've got the Two of Swords there. Five of Pentacles reversed. Page of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Five of Cups, the Magician, and the Three of Wands. Okay, what I feel here is that I'm looking at these cards, and what I feel is that you're going to get out of this Five of Pentacles energy, but you're not going to get out of it the way that you think you're going to get out of it. So this is this is a message for someone who may be dealing with some control issues, um, maybe like tunnel vision, like you have some goals in mind, but you have a set way of manifesting things you know what I mean like you're trying to manifest money but you're not opening your mind up you're thinking you know I'm, I'm trying to manifest money but I'm the money is going to come in from this job that I currently have I'm going to get that promotion um or you're trying to manifest a house but you're like you know what the house has to be in this area and it has to it has to be this color and it has to be this neighborhood and it it has to be this budget and it has to be this 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 like control issues and the universe is trying to show you if you let go of that original dream that you keep holding on to the universe has something even better for you so it's like you're holding on to um it's like you're holding on to a set way of being or thinking or feeling you've got these control issues and you're wondering where your abundance is and the universe is trying to bring you this abundance but it's like you have this, it's like tunnel vision. You're like trying to manifest something in your life. You're, you're, you know, bleeding yourself dry for this, this goal that you have, but you're, you're, it's like tunnel vision. You're, you're not understanding that there's another way to reach that goal. So you might think that you want to be in this certain area, but the universe might have a different area for you to live that you, you might not have expected, but might make you a million times happier. You might be trying to manifest, um, uh, maybe fighting with your boss or, or holding on to a stagnant job. And you're like, if I could just stick it out another year, um, I think I'll get that promotion finally. And maybe, maybe I'll have more respect at work. And it's like, you're just going in circles. But if you let go of that job, it's like the universe is going to bring you a higher paying job. That's going to be more in line with who you are on a soul level it's that kind of energy whatever your story is i don't know if it could be a job it could be a house could be a person could be that you're you're holding on to this specific person that's not treating you well like they're ghosting you or they're ignoring you they're they're not emotionally available and you're like you know what i've southern pentacles i've bled for this i've i've given up everything for this i've i've worked so hard for this I've it's it's like maybe like a relationship or something that's it's like you're afraid of starting over you're afraid of how you're going to feel if you let go of it because you've given so much of yourself to this person or this situation or whatever this energy is already and you're afraid like what's going to happen when I let go of that like you know like am I am I still going to believe in love it's like I believed in it with this person I don't want to start over I don't want to go date someone new but it's like this person is like ghosting you or ignoring you and it's like if you let go of them the universe is going to replace it with um you know your true love 
You know what I mean? Or it's like, it's it's like a, for, I think it's going to be different for each person, but for some of you, it's a job. For some of you, it's like a house you're trying to manifest. Where it's like, if you let go of the control issues of, it has to be this house, it has to be this neighborhood, the universe is going to, you know, open your mind up and show you these different areas you could live in where you could be even happier than where you're at now. You know, you let go of this job, the universe is going to, to show you that there's there's more potential to make money than, than what you thought. Um, you let go of this person that you you know deep down isn't serving you. You know deep down that this this karma with this person is ended, but you're dragging it out. It's like this is like a karmic partner, and you know it's over, but it's like you're dragging it out because you're afraid of starting over and you're afraid of being alone. But if you actually let go and let go of the control issues and know what you deserve, you're going to manifest someone who is going to be your equal, you know? Like you're afraid of letting whatever this is, you're afraid of letting it go because you're afraid that the universe isn't going to replace it with something new. So you're holding on so tightly to it. But if you let it go, the universe is going to replace it with something new and better. Once you let go of the control issues, there might be a waiting period. There might be a process, but you're going in circles right now with whatever this is. Um, and this kind of reminds me of that video I was doing, the... Um, the Aries video I was doing where I was getting that someone was disrespecting magic, like they were doing um, money spells, for example, but they had a set way of thinking like, okay, I'm going to manifest money, but it, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's only going to come from this one job or I'm going to manifest, uh, you know, a new house, but I'm not willing to go look in new areas. I mean, it's, it has to be this, it has to be my way or the highway, you know, like a very stubborn energy. And that stubbornness, it, it's like, it's like self-sabotage. Like you're, you're blocking yourself from your abundance and your happiness by, by being in this energy and thinking this way and being so stubborn and so stuck in your ways, to be honest. <coughs> be throat chakra blocks too. Oh, you might need to work on your throat chakra. Um, but yeah, but yeah, it's like, it's like you're blocking yourself. Like if I were to do a money spell right now, I know that I can't just be like, like I have to get more hours at work. Otherwise that's the only way I'm going to make money. I'm like, no, if I, if I do a money spell, I'm going to open myself up to the possibility that, you know, some, that one of my relatives I haven't talked to in a while is going to send me money or, uh, um, you know, maybe I'm going to find an odd job online or, you know, I'm going to get some reading requests out of nowhere or I'm going to meet someone at the store and they're they're going to offer, you know, they're going to have a gig for me or something like that. You know what I mean? It's like if you're trying to manifest something, you have to be open minded about it. You have to be open. It, it's like it's part of the law of attraction. You know, it's like you put that energy, that intention out there, but you let the universe decide how that's going to happen because it's it's not going to. You're like fighting with the universe right now. Like your your conscious mind, your stubbornness is fighting with your higher self and with your guides and the universe. And it's like you're so afraid of loss. You might even have like these soul contracts that you're repeating that have to do with like poverty or loss. And, you know, your guides are like, if you just let this go, I have something better for you. But you're so afraid to let it go because you're afraid they don't have something better for you. It's like you have to open your mind. It's like it's like when you do a money spell or a spell to find a home, you have to open your mind up to to you know the possibilities that it might not be in the city or state that you think it's going to be in, or it might not be the exact location you think it's going to be in, or it might not be the exact house you originally thought you wanted, but maybe you're going to fall in love with this house, and it you know like it it might the the path that you t the path to get there might be strange. It might not be just straight and narrow like you planned. But the path, you're, you're going to look back later and see why things had to happen the way they did. And it's going to be beautiful. But you're, you're not growing right now. You're just kind of in this stagnant kind of merry-go-round energy. And you need to get off that merry-go-round so you can have your blessings and abundance. Um, and it's like I was saying that with the money spell. It's like if I do a money spell, I have to open my mind. I have to open myself up to, you know... This money could come in from any direction. I have no idea, you know? Like, I think I think the last time I was trying to manifest money, I got, um, 
refunds from the IRS, which I didn't expect to get because I thought I was going to have to pay the IRS. And instead, I get these random checks in the mail when I need money, you know? It's things like that. It's like you have no idea where that money is going to come from. And I like it's good to like open yourself up to these different avenues too, like putting yourself out there so that money has that chance to flow in. But but yeah, it's part of the law of attraction. It's like you put that intention out into the universe. You decide what you want. And you can get specific with it, you know? But it's it's like then you 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 have to have that faith and you have to let things flow to you. And I know it's difficult. It's it's easier said than done. But but you have to let what you're asking for flow to you it's like you're trying to control it so hard that you're just you're settling for something that's actually not for you any longer this karmic debt has been paid off whatever this is this negative energy that you're in you're you're going in this cycle it's been paid off you have abundance right here you're just like you know, it, it's, it's like it's, your abundance is right here once you let go of whatever this is. So if it's, like I said, it could be a stagnant job and you're trying to find a new, you're trying to manifest money, but you're like, it has to be this, this job. I'm going to get respect at work. I'm going to get that promotion. I'm going to stick it out. No matter how stressful this job is, no matter how much I hate going to work, I'm going to stick it out. I'm going to save money doing this. It's going to be this way. And it's like, the universe is like, if you just let it go, like you have another job that's going to be you know, like you can find a better job that's going to be more in tune with who you are on a soul level that's not going to numb you all the time, you know. If you let go of, uh, you know, having to have this, this house in this location, the universe is going to maybe take you to another city or another place that's like your, like, dream home, you know, and it's like you wouldn't have gotten there if you had stayed in the stagnant energy of having to have it your way. Um, you know, or you're holding on to this person. You're like, well, I've given so much to this person. Like I've been fighting for this relationship. I've been fighting for this connection. We've gone through so much together. And it's like the karmic debt is over, you know? And it's like, this person is not treating you well anymore. Cause it's like, you're, it's almost like you guys have resent for each other. Cause you're dragging it on. You know, if this, this could be like a karmic soulmate or something could be someone that's blocking you from your actual true love, like your actual twin flame or your actual soulmate. And it's like, maybe it's like familiar or comfortable and it's like, you don't want to give it up. Um, and you're like, you know, we've worked so hard, like we've gone to couples counseling and we've, we've gotten in all these fights and it's been chaos, but like, you know, like we're trying to work, you know, like we're trying to do it. We're trying to work through it. Like, and it's like just dragging it on and you guys are miserable, but you're both so stubborn that you're like, well, we, we've given too much, so we have to do it now. It's familiar, you know? And it's like neither of you are happy and you need to be honest with each other and be like, you know what? We're not happy. Let's move past this. You know what I mean? Like you guys are going, not only are they blocking you from your, if, if, if the situation for you is love, some of you, it's just money. Some of you, it's just a, like a new car, or a new house. Some of you, it's love. It could be any number of things. But for those of you that it's applying to love, this person isn't happy either. Like you're, they're blocking you from your true love and you're actually blocking them from their true, from, uh, or sorry, they're, they're blocking you from your true love and you're actually blocking them from their true love as well. Cause you guys are like miserable. Like you're not communicating well, like you're not on the same page about things. Like you're, you're, it's just familiar. It's stagnant, you know, like the, the passion and the love and the romance is gone, but you're like, well, I've bled for this. I'm, it's like stubbornness, you know? Um, and if you let this go, you're going to have like, like meet someone just like that. And you're going to be like, oh my God, this is my person, you know, like just true love out of nowhere that you don't expect, but you have to be willing to, to let go of whatever this is that keeps holding you back. And I know that's hard, you know, but it's, it's like, you're getting out of this five of pentacles energy. You have it reversed, but it's, you're not going to get out of it the way that you think you are. You have page of swords and seven of pentacles. And then Queen of Swords. So this could be male or female, but it's kind of like someone like you're in your power. You're being strong. Um, but it's like you're being stubborn. You know what I mean? You're like, look at all this stubborn energy where you're like, I'm going to get what I want, but it's going to be this way. It's going to be my way or the highway. It's going to be this location, this this person, this job. Like you're being, so, you know, you need to open your mind up because if you open your mind up, it's like the universe is going to bring you something new. It's a law of attraction. It's like, you put the energy out there of what you want, but you allow the universe to bring that in um, 
like you you open yourself up to the possibilities you have to stop trying to control it and you have to let it flow to you naturally and I know that's hard like I'm in I feel it because I get in my head a lot too where I start like planning and overthinking and I'm like it has to be like this 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 and I have to like try to stop myself from doing that and I'm like I'm gonna try to open myself up because I don't know how that's gonna come in I don't know all the details you can sit there and overanalyze all you want, all the little details, trying to plan your future out. But the truth is you don't know the details. You don't know how this is going to come in. You know, you could be holding on, you could have a life plan. I'm going to be in this job for five more years and then, you know, retire at this age and do this and this. And the universe could get you fired tomorrow and be like, nope, sorry. You're going to actually not meant to do this job. You're meant to do this better job. It's going to be more in alignment with who you are on a soul level. It's going to make you happier. You know what I mean? So it's like you can have this whole plan and the universe is going to come mess that plan up, you know? Um, just be, it pisses me off when they do that too. I get it. I, I get the anger. Like I understand that because they've done that to me and I've been like, are you serious? Really? <laughs> like I feel the anger. I understand it. But, but yeah, that's, that's the energy that I'm getting. <laughs> But, you know, just, just open, just, it's like I was saying about the law of attraction, um, you know, how it, it's like, you know, you let the universe worry about the details. Like if you're doing like a lo like love drawing, for example, don't try to like, you know, like I'm going to be with this one specific person. Like they have to love me, you know, just like write down a list of the things that you want in a partner, you know, write down like a list of like their qualities, you know, maybe like do some, some magic, do some, um, some manifestation, you know, uh, like some affirmations, like feel, visualize having them now, you know, feel what it would feel like if they were in the room right now with you, like cuddling with you. I do that when I do, um, like in the past when I've tried to do like, just like general love drawing spells, like, you know, like being at, like at a, at a point in my life where I, um, you know, like where I want to like manifest love. I actually, so a spell that I did right before I met my twin flame a few years ago, I, it's, it's crazy. Um, <laughs> I, I did this spell for love drawing and I visualized him. Like I visualized like the qualities I wanted. I, I, um, I did this spell. I included some weird things in the spell, just like random things that represented true love to me because they held the energy of true love. So I think I put my cat's hair in the spell because it represented something I truly loved. Um, I took, I had this jar and I, I put it, I, it was raining. I took it outside and I, I put a tarot card underneath it and I, I let the, the rainwater fill it up. Um, and I charged a necklace that way actually. And the next day I was going to a Celtic fair and I just had a feeling that I should wear the necklace. I was like, I don't know why, but it was like charged with that energy of drawing true love in. And I met him actually through the necklace. Like I was talking to someone. I was like, oh, I don't know how to talk to my gods or goddesses yet. Like, and I know how to talk to them now, but I, at the time I was still getting used to this stuff, you know, and it all, all that knowledge came in really quickly. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I pulled the necklace out and I was like, I don't know how to talk to my gods and goddesses. And she was like, oh, this, this man over here actually knows a lot about that. He can help you with that. And, and so the necklace literally like drew him to me. Um, that, that spell that, you know, and I ended up giving him the necklace actually just for like healing. I didn't even, I don't know if it was part of the spell or what. I just intuitively felt the nudge to give him the, the necklace for healing. And I didn't even think about it until later, like started considering like, oh, I wonder if that was like part of the spell, like part of like, it was like good healing, loving energy, you know, it's like a part of me that I was giving him. Um, but anyway, the point of that, that story is like that kind of emotion and passion, like like I was opening myself up. I wasn't like, oh, it has to be this X that I'm going to manifest or it has to be this specific timing. Like I have these goals I have to meet before I can be loved. You know what I mean? It was like I visualized him like I felt him in the room with me. Like I felt like when I was doing the spell, I felt like he was like touching me, like he was like holding me while I was doing the spell, like before I had met him, you know, like I felt all that energy of having it in the present moment. Um. And like I tuned into that emotion of what it would feel like to have it now. And that that's what manifests things quickly when you feel that emotion of having it now, but you let go of the control issues. You know, I wasn't worried about it. I wasn't like, 
I wasn't at the Celtic fair looking for him or expecting him. You know, I was just there living my life, having fun. I wasn't like, oh, it has to be this person. It has to be this specific day. It has to, it has to be this. It has to be that. I was just open. I was like, you know what? I put the spell out there. It's going to happen. And it happened way faster than I thought it would. Um, that didn't go very well for me though, but, <laughs> but it manifested quickly at least when that, when that, you know, it's <laughs> going to be careful what you ask for. I need to ask for someone who's mo emotionally available next time I do a love trying spell, <laughs> but but the point is, you know, that it, it did man what I was the person I was visualizing and, and the, the personality traits, it, it, it matched up, you know, I was just I was open minded about who that was going to be and when it was going to be I let the universe take care of all the little details and, and they did, you know. Um, so it's, that's the kind of energy I'm talking about where it's like, you have to just be open, you have to, you know what I mean, it's you're going to manifest your goals. Be it buying a house, be it, you know, saving money, be it, you know, being with your true love, whatever your goals are, I do feel like you're going to manifest those, but you're not going to manifest them in the way that you're thinking that you're going to manifest them. So whatever this, this stagnant energy is, this old job, old relationship, old way of thinking, being control issues, you're going to have a tower moment if you keep hanging on to this. The universe is going to bring you a tower moment and force you to let go and force you to um, to let go of control issues and let things unfold naturally, you know, like the universe is going to shake everything up for you. They're not going to let you stay in this stagnant energy because you're block. You're not growing in this energy. You're blocking yourself. You're blocking your abundance. It's like, it's just like, it doesn't, it, you know what I mean? Like it's, it, you're, you're afraid of letting go, but the universe has something much better in store for you. It really does. It's like someone going to like apartment hunting and finding this like cheap rundown piece of garbage and being like, oh my God, we need to get this. Cause like, what if, what if we don't get approved for the next apartment? What if, what if this is it, you know? And it's like the next apartment is going to be like just as cheap and it's going to be like beautiful and like a wonderful neighborhood. And like, you have like the most awesome neighbors, you know what I mean? It's like, if something's not working out for you, be thankful, you know, it's, it wasn't meant for you. And that's a good thing. You don't want something that's not meant for you. You don't want something that's going to hurt you or harm you in the long run. You know, like it's not a coincidence. It's like, it might feel like a loss at the time, but in the long run, you're going to look back and see the bigger picture. And you're going to be glad that you didn't get stuck, stuck, stuck in this energy. You're going to be glad that you left that job or left this person or left, you know, this is like a karmic for those if, if it's love it's like a karmic relationship it's like someone that's like like you guys are like arguing or you're miscommunicating or like you're living together but you're like don't want to touch each other like you're you're bored with each other like you're just kind of over it but you're both being stubborn because you've been through so much together you know and I know it's hard I know it's hard I know it's not what you guys want to hear but but yeah anyway the point is though like once you let go of this stagnant energy you're going to get out of the five of pentacles energy you got to stop being stubborn. You got to let go of control and you have to, you have to take this leap of faith and you have to go forward because you know that this is keeping you stagnant. You know what I mean? Like you need to let things flow more naturally. So it's like, you're going to have to let something go and it might be painful. The universe is going to force this out of your life though. So if you're holding on to a stagnant job, it's like some of you might get fired if you don't quit. You know, I hate to say that, but and full disclaimer, I am not responsible for what you do or don't do. Like, is if you want to quit your job, stay with your job, it's up to you. I am not responsible for your actions, like, directly or indirectly as a result of any of my readings. It is all up to you. This is just general energy. You know, readings are for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, not responsible for your actions. Not responsible for anything. Not, not responsible for any of that. It's up to you guys. It's your lives. But... But what I'm feeling from this is that the universe is going to force this out of your life if you don't let go of it. So if you're holding on to this person and you guys are miserable, eventually you're going to wake up one day and they're going to be gone. You know, I'm like, they're going to leave you or they're, or you know what I mean? Like, or you're going to get an explosive fight and you're going to not even going to be able to, you're not going to be able to save the friendship because it's going to, you're going to, you guys will have held on to this karmic relationship for so long that you're going to just resent each other. It's that kind of energy. But once you let go of the stubbornness and you're like, you know what, I'm going to manifest this goal, but I don't know how, I, how I'm going to manifest it. I'm going to open myself up and I'm going to trust the universe. You're going to get in the magician energy. 
you're going to get in your power and you're going to manifest this. What comes after the magician? The sun. Ooh, that's like the best card in the deck. That is some good energy right there. I don't know why I had a country accent all of a sudden. Did you guys see that? That's some good energy right there. Oh my god, I can't. I can't even do it. That sounded stupid. I tried to do like a fake country accent and I just sounded like an idiot. <laughs> I tried, okay? <laughs> Building something with someone. You guys like how much of a dork I am? <laughs> Okay, so you're building something with someone. You're, yeah, you, once you let this go, you're going to be the magician. You're going to be, like, in your power. You are you know, like, the world is going to be your oyster. You're going to be, like, like, thank God I did not end up stuck with that person. Thank God I left that job. Like, thank God that job didn't work out for me because, oh, my gosh, like, now I have my dream job, you know? Thank God I... I traveled and opened myself up and found the right place to live instead of just you know settling for the first house that I found you know thank god that I I didn't settle for that rundown apartment because I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to find something better like you know this is like the energy of like do not settle do not settle the universe has abundance and blessings in store for you but you can't settle you can't hold on to control issues you need to let go and open your mind up and when you do that, when you let this stagnant energy go, when you let go of whatever's holding you back, you're the magician. You're, the world is your oyster. You're manifesting what you want. You're reclaiming your power. Three of Wands, the sun moving forward. Three of Pentacles, building something together. So it could be like a partnership, like a business partnership that's also a love partnership. Knight of Swords. Fearlessness, bravery, strength, like... You're not, when you're in this energy of like fear and lack and doubt and control, you're not your best self. Like you're not strong. You're, you're, it's like the illusion of strength. You know what I mean? Like the control issues make you feel powerful and strong to some degree, but it's not true power and it's not true strength. And you know that you feel that to some degree because it's like your body feels tense. Like you feel stressed. You feel stagnant you feel uncomfortable you know what I mean but it's like it gives you this false sense of strength but like your intuition knows that like this is your true strength you know what I mean like letting things unfold naturally like vulnerability being brave enough to be vulnerable and and open and romantic and letting things flow to you and you know making the world your oyster like like just just knowing that you deserve these things just letting all this abundance flows flow to you naturally like that's your true power you know that's your true strength and bravery this could be um there could be a masculine energy here who's who's watching as well who kind of feels like stuck in their ways kind of like controlling stagnant like oh i have to i gotta take care of everything like i gotta be where there's that damn country accent again? Who is that? Who am I channeling? Which one of you has a country accent? Why is it coming through me? That's creepy. Oh my god. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> anyway, that was random. Okay, anyway. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, once once you um okay, so there could be a masculine energy here who's like Oh, I have to be controlling. I have to be, I have to be this way. I have to be that way. You know, it's like, they, like, it's, it's like a false sense. It's like ego. It's like narcissism or like ego. It's like, you feel like that's your power, but it's not. And it's like, it's just stubbornness. And you know that that's not strength. You know, deep down that your stubbornness is not the same thing as strength. You know, Sometimes, like, you need to know when to give up on something. You need to know when to let go of something. And sometimes when you need to let go, sometimes the thing that you need to let go of is your pride. Sometimes you need to let go of your pride and go forward towards your destiny. You know what I mean? Like, some people are holding on to their pride and their fear and their control issues. And it's like, when you let that go, you have, like, a new home or new love or new energy coming in, like... You know, Knight of Swords, like, fearlessness. Like, this is your true power. This is your true masculine energy, your true strength, your true, like, courage. Like, this is, 
this is it might seem similar this like this strength and this courage and this energy might seem similar to the energy of stubbornness and control issues and ego but it's not there is an energetic difference and you're going like your soul is going to feel genuinely confident when you're in that energy what else comes after the sun it's like because someone's just being stubborn who is this I swear, I feel like I channel my twin flame on this channel a lot because I feel like that's his energy. I'm like, sounds like him. <laughs> yeah, stop being stubborn. Whoever this is for, I don't know. Yeah, you need to find a balance. Maybe you're out of, maybe this person's out of balance because they're either like the Knight of Wands, like impulsive and reckless. And so they try to have these control issues to like control this, this, this temper and this passion that they have. Maybe like, maybe you have anger or something. I don't know. Um, so it's like, you got to find a balance and you have to stop seeing things in black and white. It's not like impulsiveness and recklessness and chaos or control issues and ego and not letting anyone or anything in and doing things my way. You know, it's like, no, there's a balance between these two energies. There's a balance, there's temperance. There's another way to do this that you haven't thought of. You know, there's, you need to ground yourself. You really need to ground yourself, whoever you are. Yeah, you have rewards coming in after this hard work. You just have to... I just got a nostalgia too and go forward. Queen of Pentacles. You either are a Queen of Pentacles or you have a Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor. Yeah, you gotta be stop being stubborn though. This feels like a masculine energy, or it could be a, it could be women in masculine energy too. It could be both. Um Hmm. Interesting. Maybe you're like... Maybe some of you are holding on to an earth sign and you need to go towards a water sign. Or someone with water in their chart. Not for everyone, that could just be specific for one of you. That your person could be a water sign and you're holding on to an earth sign. Because it's like six of cups upright is like nostalgia and like longing and reconciliation. But like reversed, it's like you're getting out of that nostalgia. Like you're not nostalgic anymore. So it's almost like let go of the nostalgia for this person and come to this person instead. Queen of cups. Someone that's like emotional and intuitive and like, you know, could be a third party situation here. Um, Anything else? Anything else? I will not channel any more country accents tonight. I swear, don't do it. It's not happening. Don't feel like channeling that. Someone has to be strong and make a move towards what they want. Because you're afraid that you're going to be looked at like a fool, like a frog, like nothing. You know? And Six of Wands is being in the public eye, so this could be like like doing something publicly, like letting yourself be seen, letting yourself be vulnerable and open, you know? Doing something in the public eye. This could be, so this could be multiple, there's multiple stories here. For, for some of you, this is love, where it's like you're afraid that you're gonna look like a frog, and it's like you just need to like be brave and be, be vulnerable and, and be open and stop being afraid and be strong. You know, because um, you're blocking yourself by trying to control things and it has to be this time, it has to be this way, it has to be this, blah, blah, blah. No, just just go for it. Just go for it. Stop being afraid. Of, stop being insecure and afraid of how you're going to look and just go for it because you're blocking yourself. You need to know either way. Like, so this could be some of you that's someone that's like, not sure how someone feels and it's like you're blocking yourself though by not knowing how they feel. So it's like even if you message and they say screw you, like at least you know and you can move on. But they might not say screw you. They, they might be like, you know what? No, I don't see you as this frog. I think you're I think you're damaged, yeah, but I think you're amazing. Like, you know what I mean? Like you don't know what they're gonna say. 
Like, stop trying to control everything and thinking that you know how it's going to be and how they're going to react and what they're going to say. You don't know. You can't predict that. You can't know everything about what this person's going to say or do. And so you just need to, like, six of wands, you just need to, to step forward just for you. Three of cups, it might have a happy ending, actually. Queen of wands could be a fire sign. Could be someone that's more open than you would think they would be. It's like the little cat and the rabbit and the cute little Alice in Wonderland thing going on there. Um, why do I keep having a country accent? This is freaking me the hell out. Do you guys notice that? Or am I, am I just tripping right now? I swear. I sound like I'm on one right now and I'm not. I swear I'm not on anything. I'm just, I just keep channeling a country accent and I don't know why. Oh my God, that's so freaking weird. I don't like it. Okay, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Some of you need to make a move towards your destiny. Um, just to get the clarity. Whether, it, however it goes, you just need that clarity. For a lot of you, I feel like it could go out actually really well. Like, this is like celebration, like fun, like success, like like tea party kind of. Look at this. It's like, it's cute, fun, flirty, good energy. It's happy energy, you know? Um, and you got the queen of wands. Could be a fire sign. So this is saying be strong. Stop worrying about how you're going to look. Um, and And go towards this. And it's like, that is letting go of control issues. Even if you have like a set person in mind it's still like putting yourself out there is letting go of control issues because you're not just sitting there like what if they say this what like overanalyzing overthinking like what if they say this what if they do this no I should wait six months until I've completed this goal and this goal and this goal and then I'll be ready for love um you know I have to do it this way like I have to wait for them to reach out first I have to I have to um I have to I have to reach out on a Tuesday night because that's I know that they're off work on a Tuesday night you know it's like that kind of control where it's like just Get out of your head and just stop procrastinating. Stop sabotaging and message and talk and let yourself be seen and vulnerable. Um, and like I said, for some of you, it's it's going to be closure. For others of you, it's going to be a new beginning. But you're, you're stuck in this energy, so you need to move forward either way, no matter what they say. You know what I mean? Because you keep procrastinating and you keep like, for those of you that know that you need to send a message, you keep procrastinating and saying like, oh, I have to do this on this day or I have to... The, the stars aren't aligned properly. I have to do this when, you know, in March or April, or I have to complete these goals, or it's just, just like you're procrastinating. Once you get there, you're going to come up with another excuse not to put yourself out there. You're, you're sabotaging yourself. You need to stop being afraid of what people think, put yourself out there, and you're either going to get closure or you're going to get an opening. And these, these are pretty good cards. Three of Cups and Queen of Wands is like celebration, happiness, like good times, like communication like this is good energy um you know what I mean you could be going for someone who's really creative and kind of like weird and artistic and out there too it could be possible but but yeah you need to like you need to make that move and put yourself out there and like I said that's not the same thing as having a control like even if it's a specific person you're wanting it's not the same thing as like controlling because you're not like control would be like I want the specific person but has to go this way. It has to be this way. It has to be, has to be, you know, just like this. I can only message this day. I have to wait three months before I message, blah, blah, blah. Like just in your head, just sabotaging again and again on forever. And you're going to keep doing that. Even though you, you might give yourself a deadline, like I'll, oh, I'll message in three months. But when three months comes, you're going to have another excuse not to do it. And you're going to keep going in circles forever. And then it's going to be too late. It's probably, it could already be too late for some of you, to be honest. Um, for some of you, not all of you, but, um, but yeah, it's, it's like it's not a control issue because it's like you're if you're letting go and you're like, you know what, I'm going to just be vulnerable. I'm going to put myself out there and I'm going to trust the universe that either I'm going to get closure and I'm going to be able to move on and the universe is going to bring me someone better or I'm going to have the new start with someone. You know, I'm just going to trust. I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to lay my cards on the table. And because this is this isn't about them. It's not about what they say or do. It's for you. It's so you know, so you have the clarity because this is eating you up inside. You keep going in circles in your head with this, not knowing how they feel, just confused. And it's like, you need to know, even if it hurts you, you need to know so that your energy can move forward from this. You understand? Um, so it could go badly or it could go well. You could have this three of cups, you know, 
Queen of Wands energy. You know what I mean? Like you could have this new start, this this fun times. You know, you know what I mean? Like at least she'll have an answer. Even if they ignore you, that's that's an answer itself if they ignore you. So it's like, you know, you're letting go of the control issues by by reaching out because you're like, I trust the universe. You know, like it's, 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 if it's, if it, if they say no, it means it wasn't right for me and the universe is going to bring me someone better. If they say yes, and then I'm going to trust it. I'm going to let myself be led by this, you know, like following your heart. That is, that is letting go of control. You're following your heart instead of your mind and your, your pride and your fear and your ego going, driving you in circles. Um, for others, this is like a new business or a, um, and like I said, for those of you that love, it could go really well. I don't, I don't want to say for sure it will, but there's, there's, it could, but the time is now is what I'm getting here. You know what I mean? Like this is the current energy. It's, it's you might not have, it might not go well forever. It might, you know what I mean? It might not always be in this energy where it's going to go well. It, it could a couple weeks from now, it might not, it might, you might get that energy where it's like, nope, too late. Um, but like I said, I don't, I don't know what your story is. So it's gonna, it's gonna vary from person to person how that goes for you. But it, again, it's for you. You're doing that. You're communicating for yourself, for your own clarity, for your own, so your energy can move forward, you know, so you're not stuck in this energy anymore. Um, anyway, some of you, this is a, uh, a job or something like you're afraid that you're not good enough because this is insecurity in, in, in this particular context, I'm seeing this nine of cups as insecurity, you're afraid you're the frog. You're afraid you're not going to have someone's attention. You're afraid you're not going to have the public's attention possibly. Maybe you're wanting to like start a new business or a new career and you're afraid you're not going to have support like at home or, or someone's not going to, some energy is not going to support you and you have to be strong and you have to get out of this thinking and you have to be willing to be vulnerable and open and just let yourself shine let your true colors come through. Um, and, and start that business, you know, and it might go really well for you, but it's, it's not the time for insecurity. It's not the time to play small. It's not the time to be scared and, and holding yourself up. You have like a portal or something that's open or you have some, I don't know if it's like a planetary alignment, but I'm channeling that there's some kind of energy where you have like a portal or you have some kind of amazing, like some, what is that? It's, it's like some kind of energy that you have in your life that, um, like a once in a lifetime kind of opportunity, like you have an opportunity coming up, but that ship's about to sail away. So you got to get on the ship or you're going to have to watch the ship sail away. Like you have to choose. You can't stay there holding the ship up. It's not going to wait for you. The ship is going. So you're going to get on it or you're not going to get on it. You're going to have, you're going to look back and, and this is going to be a missed opportunity if you don't take it. For some of you, this is like starting a business and it's like the time is just right for it. Like, the, I don't know if it's like a planetary alignment or like maybe you're going to meet someone that's going to help you start your business or like you have the money for it now, but it's like, you're not going to have it in the future. You know what I mean? It's like some kind of energy like that, where it's like, you know, you're meant to do this, but you're doubting yourself. Um, so it's like, go through this portal. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity, be this, be it love, be it business, be it career, there's something here where it's like the time is now stop trying to control everything and plan everything out and just just jump on it. Just go for it. Let yourself be seen. It's time. Um, anyway, I hope this resonates. If it does, please go ahead and subscribe. Uh, any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. And um, I do private readings. My email address is below. If you want me to look more into your situation, into your love life, whatever you want to know about, just send me an email. Thanks for watching.